What's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, as you can read the title, Beloved My Head, it is indeed an Acura. 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 Yeah, it's an Acura. <laughs> it is a supercharged update on my Integra. I, it's been a minute. I know Keem is actually on his way to the crib now to do some measuring type thing. I don't know. Um, it's been a minute since I updated you guys on what's been going on with the car, and the last video I posted about this um, was about me not knowing when the next video will be because... It's in the fabric. It's in the stage of fabrication. But I did get some parts. I want to show you all what I got, and then when Kim gets here, we'll talk more about the car. I will show you the mock-up of everything, all that. But first, let's roll the intro. So like I said, I received some things in the mail finally to complete um, everything that you see that's right here. So first off, you guys notice the bumper is back on. And what's behind the bumper is the Go Auto Works intercooler. And right here in this package we have all, not this, <laughs> right here we have all the turbo cooling, plumbing, piping, whatever you want to call it, pause on the piping thing, my you get a bomb lot. Bro, this whole kit, everything you see right here, complete three inch uh, turbo piping. $98. <laughs> Shit. Boy, all this $98. But Randy ordered the same kit for his car, but 2.5 inch. The uh, material might not be the best, but Keem can weld it. Uh, Randy bought the same kit. Not to throw Randy under the bus saying that, like, you know what I mean? But it's just plumbing, bro. Like, it is what it is. I spent 100 bucks on some turbo plumbing, so it is what it is, fam. I don't care. Look at that. Ooh, what that say? Miss Cuddy, oh, that's me. I got some new uh, custom license plates in the mail. Uh, I got one for the eighth gen now, which has my last name, and for the Integra, check this out. Look at that, look at that. You see the rocket ship? That's why I wanted this one, because it had the rocket ship there. Because yeah, that's what's gonna happen. We going to the moon, baby. And no, I ain't talking about no Elon, son. We going to the moon with that bad girl. So if you guys see right here, I did order a 90 degree um, elbow from Torque Solutions off eBay. Uh, it was like 20 bucks and it fits the uh, intercooler right on to the road track. So that's why Go Auto Works makes the front, uh, makes the back door intercooler set up like this because it's simple. It doesn't require much plumbing. That's literally all it needs is a 90 degree elbow if you're running a half size radiator or an 80% radiator. This, like I said, is not going to be here forever. This is just temporary to get the car driving and running. And then once CSF releases their 80% radiator, then I'll obviously go back to doing track days and things like that, but this is just to get the car street driving on the streets and stuff like that. This is not gonna be like my full blown track car anymore. That's why we have the eighth gen over there. That's, I have so much parts for that thing, bro. bro I'm just, bro, thank God for credit cards, dog. Cause bro, oh man. That's how you gotta make it on YouTube, bro. If you guys are thinking about doing this YouTube thing, and you don't have money, get a credit card and uh, full send and be smart about it because there's a philosophy behind the art of full sending. So when you full send, you spend money to make it back. So the art of full sending is quite simple. Buy whatever you want. Just make sure you have that hustle in you to make it back. If you drop two grand on some TE37s or Reagan Masters, you're gonna like, damn, that kind of hit the bank a little bit, but guess what? You're gonna find ways to hustle harder to make that money back. You're gonna take an extra shift at work or you're gonna s send another email to a company to promote their wallet or something like that. That's what I'm kinda trying to do, you know what I mean? The art of full sending is beautiful because it motivates you to make it back. You hustle harder to make what you spent back to do it all over again. It's how you, it's how you grow that work ethic of just hustling and trying different avenues to make money legally. All right, we uh, uh, don't, don't you do that. All right, so Keem pulled up. This is how we mocked up the intercooler to get it to basically function to how we're gonna get it. Um, this wasn't really doing nothing right here, so we're gonna have to do a thing there to make the radiator stay. I already got a hose for this, so this should be fine. And yeah, all the turbo plumbing stuff's here, so. Cool, dang, this is lower than before. You lowered it? You dumped it. <laughs> dang. Yeah, it looks weird, it, bro. Lowered just. Uh, Fun fact, these are my old slippies. That's crazy. In the lab. What's going on? Let's see. Right, so, I'm gonna make some mounts that spans from here. 
So we have this little bowl. I'm gonna weld one here. And then have a bracket that comes off of here. So we tie it from here to here. And then we put another one down here and tie it from this bolt hole to here. Yeah, so you have two here, anchor here, points right there. And then two, two more over here. From here to probably here and have a bracket. And then one more probably down here. Yeah. Probably that'd be the best way to go about it. Because you're still utilizing the factory bolt holes that we have. I have one right there. That's a, I think that's a 12 mil yeah. right here. That's a 12. And then we're going to run that. And which this is also a 12 too. Yeah. There's some mounting bones up top, but. Not have really. I don't know no where to mount it. Yeah. Unless we drill through the top of this and mount it straight into here. But probably a little neater on the neater. Yeah. Area. So you don't see it. That's a heavy I'm ass thing. Here, but this is too low. Yeah, yeah it's, it's too low. Yeah. Yeah, that should that should work. Let's get these welded on here, and then um, pull out the you know, pull back down. Well, that's it. Cause that this is already done. It's just intercooler part from that side, and then radiator mounting. Yeah, and that damn thing is pretty much done. Yeah, almost there. Oh shit! Fresh out the box with the ninety. I mean the 180, and look at that. That's super close. All right, so now we're in the process of uh, doing some mock-ups with the radiator, just so we can start working on the uh, hot side, the cold side turbo piping, just to see what's what's gonna happen. Well, not happen, but like where we're gonna mount up the uh, intercooler. Kim got to make a custom bracket, cause what I have down there ain't gonna suffice. So, but once we get there. Radiator pretty much squared away to how we're gonna sit and things like that. It'll be good to go for using the plumbing we got to plumb up some stuff. Hey. Whatever easier. I'm down for that. That's a hybrid hose. Yeah, one? that's the hybrid hose. So what King was saying. So much. Cause the way it it is. Yeah. So cut here, put a pipe there, like cut yeah. section out. And then put some a pipe in there and then it just it'll work. As long as this clears here, fine. Everything else I could just work out later. Even if you cut in the middle and just put a, a straight in the middle? Yeah, but if you cut if you cut in the middle and you put it straight, this is gonna shift this here what we want is to just come out we want this to come out an angle to meet this one here mm. i mean you have the space on I mean, the tank if you could go all the way out i feel like it's more simple wouldn't it would be or like space yeah, that you out more see yeah, just space just to you um, this all, all so what's the move keem what we gotta do what you gotta do so when it's like this it's kind of close to Everything back here, or you could you could rock it this way, but I think I prefer to clock it here. So you might do like a some pie pie cut just to kick it this way. So this comes back out straight. Okay, so yeah, it'll, it'll angle straight that way, and then pie cut to go straight the other yeah, way. So it comes off of this. We'd have a little pie section and that's gonna effectively rotate. This so the rest of the piping comes straight down. Straight down. Little pie cut action. Look at that. Pie is always a lot of work, but facts. Sometimes. Sometimes I was like, man, if I didn't have to do no, if I could just bypass buys, cool. You actually don't have to pipe. You could cut. You cut a section out of a, whatever angle that is, out of a piece of it, and have it turn. But you're the man. You do yeah. what you gotta do. Whatever is easier for you, dog. Pie is not too bad. So what would you call the tool? This is a protractor. This is a digital protractor. The only thing I know about the D protractor, pause. That shit sounded way too sus. But that's the only thing I knew in school. <laughs> so what Keen was saying is you have to do like two uh, 20 degree pie cuts. Two 10, two, ten. Two, ten, two ten degree pie yeah, cuts. Just to, to the pipe. Just rotate this 20 degrees and it comes out straight. That's swag. swag. And then we could 
the boss house. Here, yeah. Like, where, where you want. I'll probably put it like here. And yeah, you want a scene, right? Yeah, I'm probably like, I think that's what yours is at, right? No, mine is tough. Yeah, on the bottom. Though. Oh. Damn, the bottom might be fresh. Yeah, mine's like, all right, like somewhere there. Oh, that's and dope. The inside, yeah. yeah, and then it's easier because you don't have to. When you put the vacuum line to it, it's not there's no you or Ben or anything on the line. So you want oh, so I should do it in the back, huh? The mine goes straight from the manifold straight to it. True fabrication stuff right here, son. No. You tell me this is a line. I can't see it. That's for um, right. just come towards. All right. Bring it towards me, it's like, um, all right, go back towards, all right, uh, exactly. right there's pretty good. Right here? Yeah. My boy Randy, you, my well, boy Randy, a beast. I'm a fab guy, man. Hey, bruh. Randy fab on the way. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. This, from here out to this point, is this point on the chassis, and then... From the inner cooler out to this point, the same point on the chassis. So um, I see that difference and add it to that. Just space it out. With just a straight. Just a straight, yeah. And then we use that 90 to come back up. Put that 20 degree pie here and then set this in somewhere. That's pretty simple. Yeah, that's pretty, yeah. Facts. Compared to all the pie cuts of my bullshit. <laughs> Next up, my boy Keem finna make a little mounting thing, make it do what it do, out of a template, and then from there, I'm gonna take, take an intercooler today. Yeah. Yeah, take the intercooler, take the uh, plumbing, and then he's gonna, like, all the measurements he took today, fab some stuff up with some uh, cuts and tape, and then, yeah. It's good, though. Good progress. Let's see. We're almost there. Probably, like, 75, 80% done. And then we gotta do radiator mounting, but that could be last. But we have a general idea where we're gonna have it mounted, so that's good. And then from there, yes sir. Oh, you can hold this. Keem's taking the radiator. I mean, the, <laughs> then the cooler's about to go. So we had to do some more mock-ups. Um, well, the final ones with the bumper on. So nothing really shifted way too much. I just had to do a lot of trimming on the grill area. I gotta get some plastic weld done so I can retain part of the grill on the driver's side. I'll show y'all once. Everything slows down. Okay, so it is the next day. Keem done took the intercooler, the piping, everything that needed to be like my everything that basically needed to be um, fabricated up to see what can go where and up with that stuff. So my bumper. Um, I'm very sad that I had to trim a lot of my bumper um, to make work. Um, like the grill is like kind of clapped so I'm just gonna shave that missing piece off I'm gonna have to see if Fred can like fire it over and like plastic weld this to be uh back on because this is loose and then I'm just gonna trim it up from the bottom like you see how that is like basically touching the the lip of the bumper I've got to trim up all that to match so yep very unfortunate that I do that to my bumper to get it to work but that's what we got to do and then when I get a new bumper I got to do the same damn thing so it's very crappy it's a very crappy situation but it is what it is this right here is the hybrid racing uh, uh, RSX upper coolant hose but I'm gonna have to cut I'm gonna have to cut like something in the middle so this can and then put something you'll see what I gotta do but but we'll do that a little later you know what I mean once we uh, get this situated the whole routing of the turbo piping and stuff situated then I'll just go ahead and make my adjustments and everything for this so yeah shouldn't be too bad but yeah that's pretty much the uh, update for the uh, Integra all the stuff is done in the Keem so from there um, we just wait to get everything back and then we'll move on with the process of uh, installing the charge piping and all that stuff. So, yep. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video. Huge thank you to Keem Fab for coming by, Paul farting by to help me get my car back on the road as quickly as possible, man. A man works a full-time job, still do other things for other people. So the fact that he came by and, you know, spent a couple hours on my car, Keem, I appreciate you, greatly appreciate it, thank you. And a huge thank you to Greg over at Go Auto Works for having the dopest back door front mount and the cooler on the market for us Rotrex boys. Appreciate you. If you guys are looking to get a turbo kit from them, 
or a supercharger kit. I have a code. Just put right Zosh in the comments, or I think he has a discount code thing where you can put in the discount code. Just put Zosh there, and you will save five percent off. So hey, bro, count your blessings. Count your blessings. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on the video. If you did not enjoy this video, leave a dislike on the video. All in all, bro, I love you, but I don't give a f uh. I love each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Peace.